Hey, we're going to look at how to find the height of a trapezoid using trig functions. So here's our trapezoid. We have two parallel bases, one that's 18 and one that is 10. And then this is isosceles, so these two legs are congruent. We have a 50 degree angle marked at the bottom left corner. Okay, what we know is since this angle is 50, we also know this angle is 50 because it's isosceles. We're going to strategically draw in an altitude right here that represents the height of the trapezoid. So now what we can do is we can figure out the length of this side of this right triangle right here. So what we can do is drop this right angle down here and the center of this base also is 10 because it matches the length of this base. So that means we have eight left over to split evenly between these two corners. So that means this side is four and this side is four. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna redraw that triangle down here and use trig to find the height of the trapezoid. So here we are where this base is four and this angle over here is 50 degrees. Now, I need to find the height, so I'm gonna call that x. Okay, now, using our trig ratios, we know that that one is opposite and this one is adjacent, so I'm gonna label that opposite and this one adjacent. And opposite adjacent is the tangent function. So I'm gonna take the tangent of 50 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So x over four. Now I'm gonna convert my fifth, uh, tangent of 50 using my calculator. Grab your calculator and take the tangent of 50 degrees. And we get 1.1918. So we'll say point, uh, 1918. So 1.1918 is equal to x over four. And the quickest way to solve that is just to do a cross product. So x times one is x and 1.1918 times four. I've already got that in the calculator. So I'm just gonna do times four. And that comes out to be 4.77. We'll round it to hundredths, 4.77. And that represents the height of this triangle, which is also the height of the trapezoid. So the answer is 4.477. Hope this video was helpful.